How is everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm back. I'm back from my holiday, best holiday ever. I expected to be sadder about being back, but actually being back and just kind of like being in my little bubble, my little engagement bubble is literally the best thing ever. So I actually don't have holiday blues, which is fantastic. So I thought I was gonna come crashing back down to reality, but I'm actually just like, so it's great. Life is great, love everything. Everything is fantastic. Today I'm going to show you the makeup that I had on my face when Ryan proposed to me. You can probably tell by the title, but this is what we do here. I'm gonna show you what I used on my face because I was really, really happy with my makeup that evening. How do I thought it through? Yes, of course I thought it through. And I'm also gonna answer your questions because there were some things that we didn't get to address. I basically had to vlog like normal. So it's like a normal vlog and a proposal vlog in one so it just ended up being super long and i was like i can't i can't sit here and talk forever in detail so i'm gonna have to just give you the information that you need which is i am engaged and this is kind of how it happened and then live life and we can kind of figure it out later there were like two sets of questions off the back of the vlog like lots of different questions but two main themes off the back of the vlog so i thought we'd do a q a i could show you what was on my face because that evening I had to make sure I was on time, so I just montaged it and I didn't get to show you guys everything. So that is what we're going to do today. And I've never been so excited to film a makeup tutorial and answer some of your questions in my life. I'm starting off by using the Beauty Pie Sheer Tinted Oil, Pre Oil, Oil Free SPF 20. This is my base, just always at the moment. I love it, it gives the best glow. It's just like a nice little bit of coverage but without being too much. But I mainly use it for the glow and its blendability at the moment. By the way, if I'm squinting, it's so bright today. So if you guys haven't seen the previous vlog, I would highly recommend you go and watch it, I will link it. But I'm engaged. I went to Ibiza with my boyfriend Ryan or my fiance Ryan last week. I can't remember. I don't even know what day it is anymore. I know it's a Monday today. We went to Ibiza and he proposed at Espedra, which is literally the most magical place in the whole entire world. It's actually reportedly, I don't know the science behind it. I would love for a scientist to confirm for me if there is any one scientist happen to be watching. It's apparently like the third most mag magnetic place in the entire world. So it's supposedly a very magical place to be proposed to at and we're hoping it brings us good luck. Going in with the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Light 3 Honey under my eyes. This is slightly pinkier tone and I find it really knocks out the very blue tone I have in the inner corner of my eye. I'm just blending that in with a NYX Cosmetics double-ended brush. This is, I use this for foundation and concealer literally every day. Also, do excuse me, I've forgotten how to answer questions apparently and do makeup at the same time. So let's let's uh, let's get into a question. Oh, also, I am gonna leave some of the questions which might seem like the most burning questions until the end, but Ryan's just got in and I am going to ask him to come and like sit with me because I feel like some of the questions are more for him than for me. So I'm gonna leave like, especially like ring questions, I'm gonna leave until the end because I can explain the start of the story that I know and then he can explain the end of the story that he knows really well. And then there's also some questions for him as well. So he's gonna jump in on the end of this. But the first question from my questions is why did you have a feeling that he would propose that night? So I had an inkling that he was going to propose at some point. I didn't know when for sure. And obviously we've like had the conversation years and years ago on whether we actually would like to marry each other that was another question that came up was had you had this conversation and yes of course i actually think it's really rogue when people are proposed to and they've never had that conversation like that to me uh, that scares me but we'd obviously had that conversation many many times we talked about what our wedding would be like so many times like we're not just one of those couples that really avoids it like we were open we're openly have always been so excited for when the time came and i highly suspected it would be some point this year i didn't know for sure but i and i didn't know like when i'm using the Givenchy Prism Libra concealer by the way and I just pop it on and wait for it to set a little bit before blending it in and it's stunning yeah so I knew in general that it was it was coming up I just had no idea when and I had no expectations on it I didn't expect it to be something grand I thought it would be very very simple I don't know why I didn't expect 
what I got. So I kind of just knew that at some point it was coming up and I was really hoping that it would be Ibiza, but obviously I wasn't going to try and dictate that too hard. I think more what I was specific on is when it wasn't. So I have always kind of said, preferably not like birthdays or Christmas. I personally just wouldn't want that. So another question was what were family and friends present? And that was always going to be like a full on no, I love him so much and I just want to like when moments like that happen I just want to like it to be me and him and to just like soak it all in just the two of us I use the Armani eyeshadows this one on my eyelid this one on my crease This is shade 44 and this is shade 22. So I was hoping it would be Ibiza I didn't know for sure but my suspicions became more and more certain in the week running up to it because there was a moment where Ryan was on his way home. Like he said he was on his way home and then he took a really long time to get home. And I knew that on his route home, like the journey should have taken 10 minutes and it took 45 minutes. And I knew that the person that was on the route home that lived on the route home was my dad. So that made me kind of twig that there was a good chance that that's what was happening. And also my mum and dad, my mom's gonna watch this and she's gonna be like that's not true but my mom and dad very rarely both collectively will message me directly and say happy holidays i hope you have a good flight i hope you have a good time or anything like that definitely don't get a message from each of them individually because we've got like a family group chat and they both messaged me individually and i was just like Mm. yeah this is this is it this is not normal behavior like people do not behave normally when they know that you are being proposed to we then got to ibiza and the weather was not ideal and not ideal for an outdoor proposal not that i knew that for sure but it became very clear that ryan at least wanted good weather by the way this is the kiko eyeliner which i'm trying my best to recreate my engagement eyeliner Let's see how this goes, shall we? Okay, not bad. So glad I wore the eyeliner because I had no idea that there would be like proper photos being taken. If you've seen my TikTok, that's the, is he just doing this or is he proposing? Those were all like very real things that he was doing to give the game away. I'd actually had to have a conversation with him about six months ago about not bringing hand luggage on our trips because I, I said to him, I was like, I'll know immediately when you're proposing because you never bring hand luggage and no one checks a ring into a suitcase really. I mean, you have to be really brave to do that. And so from that point on, he did start bringing hand luggage, but I, I can just tell like he wasn't really just like leaving his bag like he normally would. That was just a base layer of Glossier lash lip by the, by the way. And then I went in with the cloud mascara. Where is that? I'm going to get through this makeup quicker than I'm going to get through this Q&A because there's a lot, like there were just so many things. And in all fairness, yes, it wasn't a complete surprise, like off guard proposal, which I'm glad it wasn't because I was able to make sure that like, my outfit was cute and my makeup was cute and everything was not, I, and my nails were like exactly what I would have wanted. I'm so glad that I did have an inkling, but he still had enough of a, a big surprise up his sleeve that I would never, ever, ever in my wildest dreams have, imagined that he would do what he did so everything was perfect to me everything felt so perfect like I was just so excited about that day and it was just such a nice feeling because I basically the dinner that he'd rearranged he'd also mentioned that it was the one he was most looking forward to and I was just like I think it's he's rearranged that one specifically so there was so many reasons as to why I knew just so many little things like he was really particular on whether he had a certain haircut because he's trying to grow his hair out at the moment and he was like oh but maybe i should just cut it back short and i was like why does it matter so much whether your hair is like a tiny bit longer or not he was like i just want it to be really perfect and i was like oh. merit bronzing balm by the way i had layers and layers of this on the next question is did he know that you knew and i think he suspected that i knew well he actually no he knew that i was fully suspicious because one of the people that I said, mm, I think Ryan's been to see my dad, is married to a guy that Ryan plays football with. And his friend got in the car 
and he said, I think she knows that you went to see your dad, man. And so he was just like, for God's sake, for God's sake, <laughs> you can't get anything past this woman. So he knew he had to be very careful, but he also knew that he had the biggest surprise up his sleeve and that I was never ever going to twig that. Like even when we were in the car and I could see Esvedro and he was, I was like, is that Esvedro? And he was like, I don't know. And I was like, oh, I don't know where we are on the map. And I'm like Google mapsing like where we are. And I'm like, oh my God, yeah, that's Esvedro. How magical is that? And I had no idea. And he's like sat in the car, like lying through his teeth. He obviously knows that it's a Svedra. But that just goes to show that I'm smart, but I'm not that smart, you know? Not as smart as I think I am. Clearly. We can ask him for sure, but I think he knew that I knew roughly. By the way, this is the Valentino Eye to Cheek in shade three. This is an unreal blush. It's like a lilac-y pink, and I wore this a lot on a holiday, especially the night that I was being proposed to. I just wore this. I didn't layer it with the other shade that I have, which is, I think, shade one. It's a much brighter pink. You will have seen me use that early on in the vlog but i just wore this it's really subtle and beautiful and because i was wearing a baby blue i just felt like something soft and sheeny and subtle was really like gorgeous so yeah that is the blush that i wore the next question is will shrimpy be the ring bearer and i hate to break it to you guys but i don't think I don't know for sure, but I don't think Shrimpy's gonna be at our wedding. We are looking into it, but I don't think Shrimpy will be at our wedding. And I am really sad about that because nothing would make me happier. I don't think she's gonna be there, guys. That sounds kind of morbid. Like, I, I think she's gonna be around. <laughs> I hope so. But I think she'll have to stay with someone when we get married. But never say never because we have had conversations about whether it could happen, but don't expect to see her, basically. That was Max Stone, always. The next two questions are about the length of our engagement. Someone said, do you plan on having a long engagement? The alternative that someone has left me is, are you actually going to get married or are you going to be one of those couples who are engaged forever? <laughs> Which I know a lot of people, like I have family members that have done that and you know, everyone has their own like reasons. But no, no, we will, we will be getting married. Oh my God, I forgot my foundation. I can't believe I forgot this. We're gonna put a little bit in the center of my face just because I need this to be the real deal. This was the foundation I was wearing and my skin looked really, really good in all of the photos. I could not recommend this foundation enough. It's the Very Valentino Light Lasting Perfecting Foundation in the shade MN2. I love this. This is just an absolutely stunning foundation for on camera. Like I, am I gonna say this already? I might have to backtrack from this, but this could be wedding foundation. Like it's a high, 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 high contender for my wedding foundation. It's so good. Love it so much. So yeah, we just tap a little bit of that in over the rest of my makeup. The coverage on it is so good as well. Love it. Oh my God, I can't believe I nearly forgot that. But to backtrack a little bit, no, I don't think we'll have a particularly long engagement, but I don't know like how long is a piece of string? How long do we define as long? I don't think in terms of like what I know other people to do now, I don't think it will be particularly long. Like, I've been saving up for this for a while. I've been prepared. I've really wanted this. I am ready to go. <laughs> Next question. Have you spoken on when you'd like the wedding? Yes, we have. We actually just have spoken about this before we got engaged. But now we're talking about it like obviously much more seriously. And I think we know I just need to do some venue scouting. Literally, I'm gonna, that is my on my to-do list for this week. <laughs> so someone has asked me, and normally I would skirt over this question, but I'm going to answer this because I think this is an important topic to hit on to. Did you feel like he should have proposed earlier? Ending with what took him so long? Let's just start off with, I never wanted Ryan to feel pressured to hurry up and ask me like I wanted him to ask me because he felt like the time was right and he was ready to the point where I've said to him when I was having like a random bout of anxiety before I said to him like if you feel like people are pressuring you because people ask us all the time I was like if you feel like people are pressuring you please never propose to me because of that like I want you to ask me to marry you because that's all that you want not because you feel like you should or because we've been together for long enough and he was like are you, you are insane like why are you even saying this to me but i was like i just have anxiety like he's never under any pressure i never want him to feel like he's under pressure i always want us to wake up every day and choose 
each other and be with each other because we're choosing to be with each other not because we feel like we should or other people are making us like do something on their timeline we were together six months and then we're in lockdown we couldn't travel anywhere and we spent the first two years of our life literally in lockdown having very few life experiences together so why on earth would he be proposing at that point because actually apart from a, a lockdown and surviving that which is actually a big deal we hadn't really had many life experiences and i think it's really important to like do stuff together and to know how you face like problems together before you jump into something like getting married so i don't feel like ryan should ever have proposed earlier if anything i'm glad he didn't i just think the timing right now feels so right and so perfect so yeah i hope that answers that question okay next question is what would your most favorite part my most favorite part of the proposal was that like the moment when i <laughs> went from thinking oh that's a nice table and chairs under a pergola i wish we could sit there to realizing that it was for us and that ryan had just gone above and beyond anything like that moment of shock there is no feeling like that like i immediately started bawling my eyes out because it was just beyond it was so so magical and so beautiful i don't know if any feeling is ever gonna top that feeling uh, the feeling after of like i was just like what did i say i never imagined anyone would ever do anything like this for me in my life i don't know if i can pick a favorite part but like there was definitely this really overwhelming feeling of like awe and just like feeling so so loved and i don't know it was just it was the most grand gesture to me and it was just so magical and it just the fact that it's with ryan and he is just literally like the man of my fucking dreams just that whole moment where i was just like wow this is beyond my wildest dreams and it's just like the most i'm gonna try not to cry um it's just like the most special moment ever and just yeah i i think that like the basically the whole thing but like that was my favorite part oh look it's it's 3 40 i told ryan i'd be done like 10 minutes ago whoops sorry ryan do you think you'll get married abroad i'm gonna be really upfront with you i do i know that might spoil the surprise a little bit but i think we will get married abroad like had this happened in a different time with a plethora of grandparents i don't know if we would have but we're not particularly full on that front so i think we will be going abroad tbc on where though the budget needs to be budgeting you know by the way that was the lancome rouge drama mat in the shade 510 so i wore that and then i actually put this urban decay lipstick in the shade oat milk over the top and the combination is my dream there is not a more me combination on this planet i'm so so happy with it like i'm really washed out and i don't know if you can see the makeup particularly well but yeah that's that's pretty much it and then i'm gonna spray some of the urban decay all nighter setting spray which was a hefty dose of this was on my face that feels so nice it's so warm in here so that is the makeup done i'm gonna answer just a couple more questions and then i'm going to go and get Ryan. Congratulations, can you show us how you altered your dress? It was super simple, literally, as you're lifting it over your head, you just make sure both of the straps that would your head would normally go in between, both straps are the other side, and then you put the rest of your body in the dress as normal. <laughs> Sounds insane. I really just messed up putting it on the first time, but it looked fantastic, and then you just make sure that it's like folded over a little bit so you can't see any bunching and it's actually really seamless i was quite surprised okay so lots of questions on the ring and the story behind the ring so i'll kind of tell you the first half which is my half and then i will get ryan and he can kind of continue the story so this is the ring lots of you also asked for a close-up this ring is actually my size my engagement ring is ever so slightly too big so i've just been using this one to keep the ring on because the day we got back it was so cold and the ring was just like it felt like it could fall off so i've been wearing that one over the top but it's actually really warm in here today so it's not so bad it is so hard to show you <laughs> this is the ring i feel like i really should have it cleaned before giving you guys like a full-on close-up of the ring so there are eight 
diamonds and a sapphire in the middle. So this ring actually belonged to my mum. It was her first engagement ring. And when I say that, it sounds like she's been married more than once. She's only been married the once. And this was the first ring that my dad proposed with. And my mum actually didn't love this so much at the time. I think it's very like Princess Diana vibes. I mean, I wasn't around at this point really so i don't know for sure but it gives me like princess diana ring vibes and i don't know if it was kind of like trendy at the time but my mom didn't love it so she didn't end up wearing this ring she actually ended up taking one of her i think it was her mom's rings that had been passed down and she put new diamonds into it and a ruby in the middle and so this ring has gone unloved for many 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 years it's basically sat in my jewelry box since i was really small i wish we had a before and after for this ring it looked so different it's well not so different but it's had a glow up so it was missing stones before i don't remember a point in my life where it ever had the stones i think that was why she used to let me play with it so much because it was missing a stone so it's been in my jewelry box for as long as i can remember which is like the wildest thing to me like the ring that i end up being engaged with has actually just been like with me basically my whole life and because it's been missing a stone i've literally never even worn it it's and it's the most bizarre thing that i've even kept it that long like just it's just sat there my whole life and one day i just thought i think ryan and i had been talking about engagement rings a lot of you have asked me on whether i had a conversation and if so how to broach the conversation with your partner and i had just always we've always talked about getting engaged and getting married so it wasn't a completely alien concept ryan's very up for getting married to me thank god so we've always just kind of talked very openly about it which I've really enjoyed and I, I think I was looking through my jewelry box a little bit later and I saw the ring and I was like wow that's actually like that would make a really a really gorgeous engagement ring I think as I was looking at it in terms of like proportions as well I was looking for to try something on proportionately I never wanted to go too big and I think I just tried it on and I was like actually this would make an amazing engagement ring and I said to him like this was my mom's it needs reworking but I think that could be a really beautiful thing if we maybe when the time comes if you wanted to rework it it would need new stones because obviously it was missing one but it also didn't have diamonds specifically in it and it had quite a dark sapphire in the middle as well so we basically decided to rework the ring and i really love that it's like very vintagey to me it's nice and sustainable because we're taking something that's literally just been sat being unloved and giving it a new lease of life like it's so special to me because it's literally been sat in my jewelry box my whole life and i feel like weirdly happy for the ring that it's like she's getting her moment i love that so that is kind of as far as it went from me i didn't really give much other direction other than asking if the sapphire that was in the center i was a bit like oh do we just make it all diamonds or do we leave a sapphire in the center and the sapphire that was in it was very dark like it was almost bordering on it was a dark navy bordering on like almost black and i just didn't love that so much like it looks dark enough from far away now and it's so much lighter than it was so to me i'm so glad we made the decision to go for a more blue sapphire like when you look at it up close now it's a real like royal blue and i think that's such a nice contrast with the gold as well and we've already said that the sapphire that was taken out we've kept it and we're gonna make it into something else which i think will be really special as well so we can do the same if i want to change the center stone here but i'm really happy with it being a sapphire for now i think it's so beautiful sorry future me just jumping in before i finish talking about the ring i forgot to say one of the best bits let's just take this off i forgot to say one of the best bits it is old it now has something new it's technically borrowed because my mom never actually gave me permission to use this as an engagement ring and it's old new borrowed and it's got something blue get you the girl that can do everything this gal anyway <laughs> Those birds are really loud. Wow. Just wanted to jump in and say that. Like, how special is that? I just love it. So, cheers, mum. Thanks for letting me borrow it. She actually, when I called her, by the way, she said, oh, it looks really nice now. It never looked that nice when I had it. Can I have it back? No. Shaz, you can't. You can't have it back. Anyway. Okay, let's move on. Someone's actually asked what made you choose a sapphire. And really, it was just the fact that there was originally a sapphire in 
the ring that's really the only significance other than that there is literally no reason i just kind of wanted to stay true to the original ring i'm really happy with the overall aesthetic and feel of it at the moment if i ever want it to feel a little bit contemporary i guess i could change it to just a regular diamond in the center and the next question is what do you think about lab grown diamonds and i'm a big fan because that is what we had put into this ring. I know a lot of people say to get non-lab grown diamonds because they hold their value better, but to me, this ring is never going to be something that I am going to be selling because it's always been my ring. I would never, ever, ever sell it. So to me, I don't really care about the value. So I was more than happy to go with lab grown diamonds. It just felt like a very natural choice for us and for the journey of this ring I guess and the next question is beautiful ring and proposal does the ring fit and the answer to that is yes and no basically me and my mum are like hand twins and this is size to her ring finger so it's not huge but it's not sitting like obviously how we would like it to but good enough and when I wear it with this band at the moment it kind of sits a little bit on top of it and it just sits really perfectly and doesn't fly anywhere so yes and no it fits but it doesn't and i'm going to get it resized tomorrow which is why i'm filming this video today because i didn't want everyone to be like where is the ring the other jeweler is not open today so that will be on my list for tomorrow but anyway let's go and get mr brian my fiance oh. <laughs> welcome my fiance. welcome Good job. Everyone yeah, be nice to Ryan about his hair. I might get sick of it. But I we'll told see. them that that was one of the reasons that I could tell that a proposal was incoming because you were faffing with your hair. Yeah. And you weren't sure what to do. Question number one is how does Ryan feel about you having an inkling about the proposal? By the way, I feel like some people are really not okay with the fact that I sussed it, but I'm a smart cookie, you know? Yeah, I guess obviously the ring was your mum's, so there was always going to be yeah. an element of you knowing. I knew what the ring that. looked like. But I gave it to you a long time yeah. before Well, I asked you... for it quite early, didn't I? So it wasn't yeah. like I think a couple was... of weeks before. Was it January? Yeah, so... This is, this is what I look like most of the time now, by the way. So staring at the ring. I forgot about that. That was one of the reasons why I suspected that it might be happening at some point. Having sp obviously spoken about it after, how much you seem to have enjoyed the run-up. Yeah. Kind of like having a bit of an inkling. I think it's nice for you. Yeah, I. This is what I, I was kind. Of, I was trying to say this. I was really nervous at the beginning of this video, so I don't feel like I made much sense. But I loved the. Me and Ella did two, three trials for the nails to make sure I had the perfect nails because obviously it's a very specific style of ring, and I knew that was going to be a hand selfie that I was going to look at forever. I picked all of my outfits, just everything. I had so much fun. Just And even if you didn't propose, I was like, I've had so much fun in the run up to this holiday. I've enjoyed it so many times in my head, even if you don't propose, it's fine because I've had like the best time in my own head. You'd also be super well prepared if I didn't. And you'd already... Yeah, I planned everything. Yeah. yeah, I loved it. It was it was so fun. So you didn't mind that much? No. No, no. I feel like there was still a bit of a element of surprise maybe, maybe no that's what i said i was like the actual proposal was the surprise and just amazing so you had that in your back pocket and i was i was dumb and never would have thought that you did what you did how did ryan plan the best proposal ever i knew i wanted to do it at, at esvedra and there's a viewing point that i've been to before but it gets really busy so i knew i didn't want to do it there so i googled like restaurants and hotels and stuff near found petunia and it looked perfect it was. so yeah went with that. will ryan dj at your wedding we've been speaking about this haven't we yeah i don't know probably <laughs> i probably will i'll probably be like not planned but i'll just have a few drinks and then be like hop on yeah yeah probably but i think we'll have the main dj won't yeah. like won't be you yeah yeah there's gonna be so many djs there i think it would just be yeah. fun if like you could if you were just like having a good time and you felt like it to be fair you can't really put a pair of decks in front of a dj and expect them not to jump on so no it would probably just be like a bunch of us going back to back yeah also it depends where we like do it i guess and how late you can play into the night yeah. because i definitely think there's some djs that will not be for the the parents 
not your mum, but my parents. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing as well, isn't it? You've got to consider the vibe. You don't yeah. just want like house music. So yeah, who knows? We'll it's see. The answer. We'll see. But probably. <laughs> <laughs> does Ryan want to be involved in wedding planning? It feels like yeah. I'm talking about you in the third person when I say, does Ryan, do you? <laughs> I do, but also I don't feel like I have a lot of preference. I say that, it might be when you mm. say, like, oh, what do you think about this? Then I might realise actually, yeah. I do feel I quite strongly quite good about certain with, things. Yeah, but I always think our visions, our visions are never like too wildly off from each other. When I guess, it comes I guess to when like I say, the vibe that we like. When I say I don't have preference, I, w I couldn't sit here now and talk about the flowers that I want or like, mm. I don't know, like intricate details. But I guess, yeah, if you were to be like, oh, what do you think this or that? I'd like to be involved probably yeah. in that way. And it'll be a Monica situation where you're like, what do you think? This? <laughs> I think I'm going to have to be really careful to not be too laid back because part of me is like, as long as the flowers look really good, I don't particularly care. But then you run the risk of ending up with something that you actually aren't in love with because you've been too laid back. So I need to be specific, but not be too specific. Because otherwise we're both yeah. just going to be sat there like, don't really mind. Yeah, I think I would definitely want to be involved. I think you'll, You're happy take, to you'll take lead, I think. Yeah. Like, definitely. <laughs> I think it depends on the venue because if the venue has a look enough of its own then we don't need to like run too wild with like adding our own stamp but if the venue ended up being like a real blank slate that's when we're gonna have to like both be very yeah my head like... is being massively cut off this is set up for me and not for you <laughs> I don't feel like we're gonna be wildly off when it comes to choosing a yeah. venue me neither I feel like we're, we're on the same. We're on the same page a lot, to be fair. What are you most excited for now? Um, dinner. The wedding dinner or oh, your dinner right, today? Yeah, yeah. Right, I meant today. But um, <laughs> what am I most excited for? Yeah. What next well, step are you like really excited for? The stag. You're like that. <laughs> well, actually, it's probably a mixture of excitement and fear. Yeah. Because you did a stag do earlier this year and you really like went for it. So someone might be getting their own back on you. Just the general planning, like looking through venues. And but what are you most excited for? Getting the venue sorted, because I know as soon as I have that, I'm not going to be really worrying. I'm just going to be like, I know, I know I'm going there on this day to get married, stunning, like everything else will yeah. work itself out. But wedding dress shopping, but at all, mm, so many things asking my, I'm, I'm not having like brides, like traditional bridesmaids, but I'm going to have like people that are like my people. I'm going to have a group of people. So technically bridesmaids. Yeah, bridesmaids. I just don't want to call them that, but they are essentially bridesmaids in some capacity. Last night I was, uh, I was excited for cake testing. Yeah, cake testing, that'll be a good one. Were you nervous? Did I ask you this one? You did, but not on camera. Not on camera, okay. <laughs> Were you nervous? I was not as nervous as I thought I'd be. I was probably more nervous asking your dad for his blessing. <laughs> I was, I would say I was probably more nervous about just like the timings of things. So I, I arranged for us to be taken to a table in the restaurant instead of going straight to the pagoda where I yeah. proposed. So I was nervous about them maybe forgetting that that was part of the plan yeah. and going straight there. Because we didn't get to tell you this when in the vlog, but Ryan had the option to just like have us taken straight to the pagoda and dinner table and instead he chose to fill it in it really smashed it it was so much more magical being sat just by the pool in the main area <laughs> and me just being like yeah okay nice vibe here cool mm, margaritas and then you going to the toilet and yeah anyway you carry on yeah i just really i didn't want there to be like a waiter like a waitress or waiter still there whilst they did it. I don't know, just little things like that. But then I, I was actually, I was nervous when, so when I went from the table to the toilet to go and work out where the area was, yeah. that's when I did start getting really nervous because I was uh, thinking about what I was going to say. Although I did have a few things in mind, but I didn't get them all out. Mm. But not as nervous as I thought I would be. You were so cool. Like, I was not. You really held it together as well. I'm so impressed. I feel like my emotions just came out as laughter. Yeah, I'm so but also because I was hysterically crying. Yeah. The only other question is about the ring story and I've obviously told them about the ring 
in terms of like when it made its way to you, like it making its way to you and mm. the story behind it. But when did you go? Well, I went on numerous occasions. When did you start the process? How uh, long did it take? It took a couple of months because I went about four times to talk about the diamonds. Mm. And then it was, initially I just went in and asked about like real diamonds. And then I went back and asked about lab grown and decided to go with lab grown. And then once the diamonds were sorted, spoke about the sapphire, which they got a few different sapphires ordered in that I could take a look at. And then I chose one. The bluest one. Yeah. And then, yeah, that was it. And then we got to get it resized tomorrow. Yeah. When was it ready? How long did you have it for? Um, I actually probably had it for like 10 days or something maybe. Oh wow, so that's not that long. No. Oh. Was there ever a point where you thought it wasn't going to be ready in time? Mm, no, because I, f I feel like I was quite, like I'd asked how long things would take quite far in advance and then, yeah, just made sure that there was enough time. Well done. <laughs> I think that's it for the questions and I'm really happy about that because I think I've been filming for about nearly two hours now so we should probably go. So those are all of the questions on our engagement proposal. Wasn't there one about if I wanted an engagement ring on? Oh yeah someone asked if you wanted an engagement ring of your own. Yes I do. Do you? Because that's not what you told. I'm feeling <laughs> a little bit naked. <laughs> that's what I've been saying. <laughs> That's not what you told me I don't when know, I asked I don't know, you. I, <laughs> I thought that was such a funny question. I wonder if people do that. Let us know in the comments down below. <laughs> so yeah, that is going to be it from us today. I'm going to awkwardly sign this off because I'm not used to doing this with Ryan here and you Nala can. is just viciously scratching herself <laughs> and I can do choking. A, like, as if I've been edited out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye guys. Okay, no, you do. I'll, I'll, I'll do this outro myself. I hope that that was somewhat helpful and yeah that's what it looks like but without the yeah so yeah that is what it looks like final close-up because i know lots of people didn't think my close-up was close up enough but i hope you have all enjoyed this video and i will see you guys again very very soon just thank you so much for being so nice it was literally the best thing to share with you all i i think being on youtube for so long it's just been such like a long journey and yeah it was just one of those things where i was just as excited to share this with so many of you as i was to share it with my offline friends so yeah it was just really magical sharing this moment with you all i think because there are just so many milestones in my life online it just was really special but that is going to be it from me i hope you're all having the best day and you enjoyed this and i'll see you guys again soon Love you, bye.